how do you, how am I able to hear that all the way down here? Please don't let it be another scammer. Of course, gotta sign in first. Please don't let it be from Facebook. Okay, it is from Facebook, but <laughs> it's just keen. We always have good conversations together. What the hell? <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. Mm-mm. <sighs> Tokyo, here I come. Oh, oh, sorry, I was just making sure that there's nothing in the sky. Oh, look. <laughs> a guy in a, in a formal suit. I wonder what he's going to see. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what is up? Uh, this is Matthew, it's me once again. Welcome back to another movie review, aka After I Saw. This time it is going to be on. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in this film, we follow two siblings played by uh, Daniel Kaluuya and uh, Kiki Palmer, and um, they're part of a filming crew involving horses, um, and in this um, like western type uh, ranch uh, area, um, a mysterious object appears from out of absolutely nowhere, and it becomes a big deal for everybody, and they're trying to figure out uh, what that thing is. And it's something that uh, not only happens for these two characters, but for other people, including uh, another man played by Steven Yoon? Kyun? It, it, it's either one of those. But anyways, uh, this film is directed by Jordan Peele, who is a freaking awesome director and comedian. Get Out was the movie that truly made me a big fan of his work. Um, I really liked him in Keanu. That sort of made me into a fan and made me want to learn more about his work. But Get Out, ever since I saw that film, I never knew that comedians can also be great with horror. He proved that with Get Out and Us. Both movies were absolutely phenomenal. So of course, I was anticipating this film. And I just saw it in IMAX and what a trip this was. I feel like my biggest recommendation is seeing this on the biggest screen possible, especially IMAX. This is by far Peel's most expensive project, I believe. I didn't really look up the budget for this movie, but it looks like it could have been his most expensive film. What's really great is uh, that Peel is going through a lot of the horror genres. With Get Out, um, that was more of a psychological film. Us was a slasher film. This, I feel like, is a mixture of both the sci-fi genre the psychological genre, and of course the comedy genre because there is a lot of comedy in uh, these movies that he's made. And what's really great about Jordan Peele is that when he makes these movies, he manages to fit the comedy in with the horror because his movies can be both very funny and suspenseful at the same time. Especially when it comes to this film, Kiki Palmer I think is the biggest comedic star of the whole thing. I mean, Daniel Kaluuya is far more serious than this, but doesn't have that much to joke about in this movie, as he is a very serious man in this movie. And Daniel Kaluuya, I think, uh, you know, Jordan Peele has found his secret weapon for making movies, even though he wasn't in Us. He is once again terrific in his movies, and uh, 
he, I mean, he's done other things too. He's also done films like uh, oh, that one movie I saw that I reviewed, um, what was it again? Queen and Slim and uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, also incredible. Um, so yeah, Daniel Kaluuya knows how to act and Peel knows how to direct. And I think with this movie, it's definitely going to divide audiences and critics alike. Most critics are really loving the movie right now, but there are some of those critics who are definitely saying that the movie was kind of a letdown for them, and I can definitely see where they're going. But, okay, first off, do not expect going into this movie thinking that this is just gonna be an alien film, because this is not about aliens, even though the trailer indicates that a UFO is coming, well, he's, that's not what he's going for. Now, the movie does take a lot of inspiration from films like Jaws, and uh, like people have pointed this out in their reviews, films like Jaws and um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind and a little bit of Signs mixed in and Tremors a little bit too because Tremors was set in a western desert area and uh, it had creatures coming out of the ground. Jaws was in the sea, uh, Tremors was in the ground and a spaceship thing in the sky. It's basically Jaws and Tremors in the sky. And I think Jordan Peele handles it very, very well here. What's also really great about this movie is that they're, when they try to discover this film, they basically try to get a crew to help them like, um, try to like, it's like they're filming a movie and um, everybody starts obsessing over this thing. Like, I feel like Jordan Peele's uh, indication of uh, how people are going through this obsession is a very, very ingenious one. And that's a thing too, Jordan Peele is a genius with these movies and I think his genius definitely shows off. Though, there are definitely some parts of the movie that people are not gonna fully understand because there are times in the movie where it cuts to like uh, characters, like other characters with their like past with other stuff, like this one involving a sitcom that I am I should not spoil, but it was insane. Yeah, and I think uh, the biggest thing that I feel like is getting criticized the most with this movie is the third act, because you're either going to love the third act or absolutely hate it. I'm not gonna spoil, but it was absolutely insane and I kind of loved it. Though, um, there are definitely some times where um, it didn't fully exceed my expectations. I mean, I tried going in with as low as possible. Some of them I put in a little too high. Like, I don't think this movie is as good as Get Out or Us, but I still had a really great time with this movie. It's a gorgeous looking movie filled to the brim with terrific performances. And in the end, I just, Jordan Peele did not disappoint me yet again. I feel like this film is more of an inspiration to uh, the type of filmmaking that people have when they're like filming like a really big budget movie. I feel like it's a love letter to uh, Hollywood filmmaking, like having a crew and stuff. And there are some parts in here that kind of make this movie a bit of a metaphor. And there's a lot of them. And uh, the way they're trying to uh, get this whole like ship thing, like get a closer look and what it's fully uh, doing in this world. Like, it's actually very ingenious. This is a very unique and very ingenious film that doesn't try to, like, go full into, like, being a flat-out sci-fi film because that's not what it is. The trailers do seem like they spoil a lot, but trust me, I feel like Jordan Peele is doing something very smart when it comes with these trailers. Like, uh, yes, there are some times where the movie can be a little predictable, but this movie's still, in the end, I found myself really digging with uh, Jordan Peele's terrific direction once again and his creativity. He definitely shows it off here. In the end, guys, I really dug Nope, okay? It is one of the best horror films of the summer. With this and the Black Phone, I feel like it's an absolutely fantastic year uh, for horror and films like X. And there's another one coming out called Bodies, 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 which, I'm, which I also hear is really good. Cannot wait for that to come out. Um, but yeah, Jordan Peele, once again, uh, did not disappoint me with this one. Despite its runtime, I felt like the movie was very well paced. Um, it doesn't go, like, uh, fully into, like, uh, the horror stuff because the movie, I feel like, focuses a lot more on suspense than terror, and that's usually a good thing when it comes to these films. Jordan Peele, once again, has a very, uh, creative mind here. It might have a very divisive third act, and the whole movie in general might be pretty divisive. It's probably not going to get as much love as Get Out or Us. A lot of audiences actually really didn't like Us. Critics loved it, but audiences, 
I, I, I don't know. I, I personally loved us, but uh, this film I feel like is definitely going to be talked about a lot. Despite the movie having similarities to other films, I feel like there's still a lot of originality in here. And um, you might love it, you might hate it, but I've one loved it. And in the end, I'd say I'd give Nope an absolute yup. You guys know that um, that animated Netflix show, Big Mouth, you know, the one with the crazy monsters and all the sex jokes? Yeah, well, they referenced Get Out and Us. And if they come back with another season, I have no doubt that they are going to uh, do a parody of Nope as well, because Jordan Peele is behind the show. It would just be really funny if they did make another season if they had that. I honestly would like to see that. Maybe make a full episode about that. I, I don't know, but it would be cool. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go back inside the theater right now because there is another movie that I want to see. Um, I actually got my ticket for it right now, and I'm really excited. This is another movie that I've been waiting forever to see, so just uh, wait for my review. And um, yeah, I mean, if you're already getting this review. I'll have it out as soon as possible. You're probably wondering what movie it is. Well, um, you'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. We're out.